obviously if he's if he's injured, okay, and you, you're talking about him not being 100 percent. That's that's a different discussion. Of course, I'm not going to sit up there and say that he should play. But I'm addressing the point that everybody's been talking about. You got a lot of people out there, including our very own Scottie Pippen and Tracy McGrady on the jump weeks ago when this man was healthy, not injured, and they were saying he shouldn't play. I think that is utterly ridiculous. There is no way on earth a healthy Zion Williamson should quit in the middle of the season to preserve himself for the NBA draft. I understand all the arguments about the money and everything like that. I get all of that. But my mentality is very, very simple. You may not have been a number one overall pick, but you would have been a top five, top seven pick in the upcoming NBA draft that you sat out this year and kept yourself eligible. He himself said weeks ago, I came here to play. If I didn't want to play, then I would have sat out and saved myself for the NBA draft. I'm a kid. I love playing basketball, and that's what I want to do. There is no reason on earth why a guy with his talent, this health that, that is healthy, all right, playing for a Duke team that's competing for a national championship, and this guy's competing for player of the year honors, he's projected to be the number one overall pick, should just shut it down and quit on his teammates and just say, you know what, I'm not going to play because I want to make myself ready for the NBA draft if he's healthy. If he's injured, that's different. But if he's healthy, you already started, you finish what you started. If you were going to quit, you shouldn't have played in the first place. That's where I'm coming from. This depends on what Zion wants to do, of course. If he wants to play, he should play. But if it were me, what I think he should do, not knowing what's in his heart, hell no, he shouldn't play. Of course he should sit down. Guys, think about this, as Jalen Rose pointed out on Get Up about an hour ago. The school has a deal with Nike, right? Nike's shoe explodes in front of President Obama. You could read his lips. He says, his shoe, his shoe broke. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't look worse for Nike. We'll get into that later in the show. Next game he plays, he's going to have to put that same brand sneaker on, right? Because the school gets paid. He doesn't get paid. The school gets paid. You know what hockey players and, and baseball players do, guys? They get signed to multi-million dollar contracts, and they're still, they don't lose their eligibility. They're still eligible. The issue in the NCAA, they've even in the Olympics allowed people to make money. The issue in the NCAA is they realize part of what they're selling back to the consumer is the veneer of amateurism. That's part of the appeal. The problem is once someone po points a camera at that because there's an appetite for it, and amateurism is part of the reason there's an appetite for it, and you start selling commercial time, and the labor doesn't get paid, it's an issue, and I hate to bring it up, and it's not about playing the race card, but race here plays a factor, and it's, to me it's fairly obvious there's a reason why the rules are different in hockey and baseball, but um, in, in the, with the NCAA, with respect to basketball, for some reason, people think why these kids should be glad to get the education and happy with what they have, and how dare they ask for more. If I'm Zion and I have hundreds of millions of dollars riding on my knee and I can't trust the equipment, no, I'm not playing another game in college. <laughs> Maria? You know, guys, I, first of all, I agree with you, Max. If it's me and I'm in the same situation, I'm done, I'm out, I'm taking care of my family, let's, let's go get this bag of money, and let's move on. But all that being said, I think that Zion Williamson is a kid that loves to play the game. As in, like, when you talk to his teammates, when you talk to Coach K, you're like, he's so fun to be around, and he's such a big competitor. Every single player in that locker room loves him. Like, R.J. Barrett was saying he went straight to see Zion and talk to him before coming into media and just making sure that his guy was okay. And you rarely see that I'm talking about with five stars with transcendent talent, and that's the kind of person that he is. Um, but you can look at the rest of the schedule right now for Duke. In ACC play, the next four opponents that they have are 13 and 6. I mean, basically, you know, Duke could run away with some of these wins against Syracuse, Wake Forest, Miami, go on down the line. And maybe Zion could decide to come back for a UNC game that, of course, it's, he's dreamed about his whole life playing in. I mean, as a kid, you want to play in the Duke-UNC matchups. That's something that would get you really excited. So I could see him wanting to be in that game March 9th. But I wouldn't be mad at him for not playing the next four games. That being said, too, well, not playing in the ACC tournament, ga or or tournament games, why would you when they don't matter when it comes to NCAA championships? 
championship games. Maria, I'm just saying there could be a pinch count situation where he doesn't have to be in a lot of these it. upcoming I, games. Maria, I have a question for you because I want to make sure I understand you clearly. Are you stating this mm -hmm. position because of what you witnessed last night and you're saying Zion should not jeopardize anything going forward? Or did you have this mindset before last night, before any injury was incurred? Did you feel this way that he's somebody that should sure. sit down and preserve himself for the NBA draft? No. When the season started, I, I wanted him to play every single game. One, okay. because I've always been of the mindset of what are you going to do instead? Are you going to have to train? You could bust your shoe open, although that's right. a really rare occurrence, but you could roll your ankle in individual drills. So he has to stay healthy to some extent anyway. Why not play with the team? Why not be coached by a guy like Coach K that can make your game better? That's coached the Kobe Bryants and LeBron James of the world. Play with some of the best players in okay. the nation that are your same age. Why wouldn't you do all those well, things? Well, so well, my mind only changes because of the, the injury, the mild strain, and the potential to do further damage. Uh, now see, I don't have a problem with that, and that's why I want to max, that's why I want to make sure that my position is clear with both you and Maria. If everything is feeding off of what transpired last night, and as a result, you all are mm -hmm. of the mindset that he should shut it down, that's not my issue. My issue is with the Tracy McGrady's and the Scotty Pippins of the world mm -hmm. and others who weeks ago, when there was no injury, when there was nothing that well, happened, was of the belief that Zion Williamson should shut it down quit on his team in the middle of the season because there's the NBA draft to think about as opposed to pursuing a national championship. As far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't have shown nah, up to do and play. Listen. Listen, I agree, Maria, point. I agree with you that it depends on what's in the kid's heart himself. If he loves to play and he wants to play, he's been dreaming about this his whole life, I would never presume to say there's money at stake. Those are his choices to make. 